All right, now LL Cool J was recently on stage in Houston where a lot of people think that he actually called out Jay-Z. I'm going to play what he said. And I'm going to let you be the judge. And I'm going to give you a brief history of the feud, the highly publicized feud between LL Cool J and Jay-Z. First, here's what LL said. Stick around for what I got to say after this. Shout out to all you rappers trying to play mystery, man. It's a legacy. Get on this goddamn stage, man. A lot of dudes run around, oh, I can't, you know, I mean, <laughs> they'll miss me more if I don't perform my show. Come on, dog. Let's get on stage, man. If I can get on stage, you definitely can get on this one. Hey, you know, I wasn't going to do it. Really doing that? Why? You don't need to do that. Yes, I do. I love it. Yeah. Here we go. And you can see why a lot of people thought that he was going at Jay-Z because of the little ending windows he did. A ho, 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 ho. It kind of sounded like Jay-Z a little bit. Now, it could be the case. We don't really know. But one thing I'm going to do is want to give you the little history that they had kind of going back and forth with each other, kind of jabbing. It wasn't like a power shot or uppercut. They jabbed at each other. So I'm going to play a brief history of the feud between them two. Then I'll be back on the back end with my thoughts to bring everything full circle. So check this out, man. Yeah. LL was bitching. He was upset that y'all didn't push it. You guys did. You guys did a couple videos for him. Yeah, I mean, we did it. We did. We did a uh, what we believe to be an incredible job um, with the LL project, and uh, it just it just didn't take off. So what do you think went wrong? I don't know. Maybe, maybe you know, when we went for the record at radio, we could have went top forty first of all, first and foremost. But you know, that's how records usually start. They start urban, then they go top forty. You don't right. usually go for a record top forty. But maybe we should have did something outside of the box and went top forty with his record. That's the only place I could see there was a stagger. Oh, I mean, Everything's great. You know what I'm saying? I'm in here. Stories in the street, though, B. Yeah. Things, in the, you know what I'm saying? We're going we gonna to start it off like that, man. There's a, right. a lot of talk in the street saying you're going that whole, man. Said about a lot of rumors about somebody being called the GOAT or the Billy, you know. Oh, yeah. What's good with that? Nah, nah. Well, I, I, I address it on a lot of different levels. As far as me going at home, boy, look, my bottom line, my job is, is simple. I need my records promoted. Um, people have to understand that when they, when they talk about LL, you're talking about 24 years. Okay. Not 12. And and when you talk about LL, you talk about 1984, and me starting the label. You know what I'm saying? Me, Russell, and Rick actually sitting there and starting Def Jam. So I'm not like I don't I don't begrudge nobody their success and anything that's happening in their lives. And I hear a lot of silly shit about people talking about like <laughs> I want a job up there. Like what part of me being LL Cool J makes somebody think I want a job at a record company? Like I don't know where people get that idea from, but that's like a fantasy because the reality is. I turned them records that that uh, job down ten years ago, and and I'll tell you why, because just because you're um just because you can bake a cake, you know what I'm saying, doesn't mean that you're qualified to run a bakery, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, and you know I I never felt like I had the experience to do that job, so I didn't take the job. So people need to understand that. And as far as going at at Jay, it's nothing personal. Like this is purely business. Like all I wanted them to do. As all I want the record company to do is promote my records. I'm not looking to assassinate anybody's character. I'm not looking to degrade nobody. I ain't got to do that. Why, why would I need to do that? I mean, I'm going on my 13th record. And not my 13th record because I jammed 13 albums in the 12 or 13 years. I'm going on my 13th record in my 24th year of my career. I'm doing very well. I got Grammys on the wall. Everything is right. Um, you know, so, you know, people got, when they look at me, they got to understand who's talking. You know what I'm saying? This is like, I'm not new to this. Like, I do this for real. I've been doing this. And, you know, a record needs to be promoted. And if somebody gives you their word, they got to keep it. It's as simple as that. So as far as me trying to degrade homeboy or begrudging someone's success, it's impossible. Because I'm successful. Extremely. You know what I'm saying? So I don't have to play those games. You know, I'm like, like, like some new cat that's looking to pick at somebody or take shots at somebody. I'm not looking to do that. They didn't promote my record. I want my records promoted, and that's what it is. And I, and I met with them and, and told them the same thing to their faces. So this is not, you know, and as far as people tell me, oh, well, he could have got this person on the phone. I called. You don't pick up the phone, I fire a shot in the air. <laughs> as you can see, that was a little bit of the friction. There's a couple other videos out there with LL saying stuff, some things with Jay-Z saying stuff. But at the end of the day, 
when Jay Z was the head up there, the president at Def Jam, LL Cool J was not happy because he don't feel like his album was being promoted, and he called to Jay Z. I guess Jay Z answered the phone, so he said what he had to say. I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, both of these dudes are great rappers. Both of them are pioneers. Both of them are legends in the game. So I wouldn't be surprised if LL was talking about Jay Z, right? Because they never really got cool. They were cordial. But they never got cool like they were. You, know, you don't see LL at the Rock Nation brunch. He never he didn't sound he ain't signed with Rock Nation or nothing like that. So, you know, just you know, it's entertainment, but it's a very competitive sport. Trust and believe, hip hop. Even though it seems like through the the um, you know emergence of the South, it, it didn't really you know it kind of took away from the competitive edge. Up in New York and Philly and the North, we always remain very, very competitive. So I don't want that to fool anybody. Man, um, you could take it how you want to take it. I like the competition aspect. I like the, you know, going at each other aspect. I just don't like the killing and the violence. So if we can't do that without, you know, killing and shooting each other, then stop the competition aspect. But as long as the competition aspect is high and, you know, uh, uh, um, people are not dying, I'm cool with it. Rap about me, you know, rap about that person, you know, battle this person, make a song about this person. I think that brings out the best in artists. You know, everybody can't be all buddy buddy, right? Sometimes there gotta be some robberies. But nevertheless, man, I appreciate y'all. Make sure y'all hit the like button on the video, right? And share the video. You can share it on Facebook or Twitter or any social media outlet. Also stay tuned for a special, special announcement right after this video and leave your thoughts below. Stay tuned. Yes, you see it. We got the hip hop veteran hats available. Right now, the link is in the description box right below. Go to printchamps.com, click in the link in the description box. We also got some other great merch right there, our Hip Hop Legends shirt as well. We got some new stuff coming right now, but this is available right now, the Hip Hop Veterans hat. Let's do it.